And the demon told her, you ain't got no power. <laughs> Because God now have allowed him. 
to have some good leadership on the, on the other end. Now he can spend more time, somebody say quality time. Uh, they, can, they can swing from the chandeliers a little bit more. Am I right? All right, I ain't talking about it. They ain't never done that before. I don't know where the two levels came from, but they ain't. A little must be worth a committed to his right. Cool and collected. Message Bible say you gotta be cool. Sometimes when all hell is breaking loose, you still have to remain cool. You know what I'm saying? You gotta remain calm. You gotta be like, uh, my father has this. This is above me. I can't handle this. But my father, you understand? This is how I do stuff. People say, how can you be calm in the midst of all this, Pastor? I said, because this is not in my lane. Yeah. See, I understand what's in my lane, you understand? Yeah. And my wife said, pick me up at, at such a city place, that's in my lane. You get what I'm saying? But there are some things that's not in my lane. Uh -huh. There's some things that only God can do. Yes. And what we got, what we're used to doing is doing God's business. Yes. But I do what God tells me to do, and I allow, I well, don't allow, but I get out of God's way and let God do what he's supposed to do. Am I right? That's, this is what God, this is what, this is why God sends us great leaders to teach us things like this. It says it must be cool and collected, accessible and hospitable. How are you gonna be a pastor and be hateful? A first lady, and she just as hateful as she can be. First lady walk in the church. No, I've seen all, I see how all my stuff. Walk in the church, look. Don't speak, don't, don't nobody speak to me. <laughs> Don't know you hear what I'm saying? Walk in the church, all dressed up pretty, sit down with a nice hat on, preacher be preaching, won't lie, won't say nothing, just sit right there, church is over. Yes. And she done. But what I'm saying is that living beneath the call, you understand? Because why? The first lady got to be approachable because the women want to talk to her. They don't want to talk to the knucklehead pastors. Amen. Am I right? See, see, see and I know y'all said, Pastor, teach us on a Friday night. We, we need teaching. You understand what I'm saying? Because why? There's a God way to do things, and then there's my way. I, there's a, God has a permissive will and a perfect will. I don't want to get caught up in the permissive will of God. I want to always strive to go in the perfect will of God. Right. So if I walk in the perfect will of God, then all the things God has destined me to do, all the things God has purpose in my life. Yes. Come on, I gotta, I gotta, uh, I gotta sleep with him because he won't pay the rent. Take some. Oh. I got, I got, what they call it? Got to try the milk before they buy. Brother, what y'all know? Test the milk before they buy. There ain't nowhere in the world you gonna find God so you can shack up. Nowhere. Amen. 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 You might get me. <laughs> I, might, I might have to run, Tony. Amen. But, but listen, see, God has a way, and He has a way how bishops are supposed to act. He has a way how pastors are supposed to act, how elders are supposed to act. He has a way how the people in the congregation. I know you say, well, that ain't me. I can do anything I want. No, you can't. You can go hell wide open. Hell awaited those that sin against God. You hear what I'm saying? Hell is waiting on people. And hell was, the Bible said, hell enlarging itself. Amen. Isn't that, that something? The word said, hell what? And what? It got larger. Because hell was never meant for the saints and the people of God. It was never meant for mankind. Hell was created for Lucifer and the angels that followed him. But because mankind decided that we we're going to disobey God, hell had to what? Enlarge itself. Y'all can go to sleep on, but I ain't gonna stop preaching. <laughs> hey, look, if you gotta get your snap on, go and turn it, lay your head on back. Amen. I ain't gonna mess with you. Lay it on back and get you a nap. Lay it on back and get you a good nap. It's Friday, man. Act like you did when you was in the club. <laughs> 10 o'clock? No more, you know. <laughs> I'm gonna ready to close because uh, I just want to come here. 
just share and just commend you now for what God is using you guys to do. Keep up the good work. I used to preach to the chairs at the worship center. We was in the bookstore. And we had Minister Sherman used to be looking out. Is anybody coming today? I already told him, we here. I said, we here. And now we pray. He said, God, send us great people. And man, great people start coming through the door. I said, God, send us. Uh, one, one preacher prayed, uh, pray, Father, send me the people that nobody else will want. And, and, and he said, he said, that's what he been getting. <laughs> Look, he said, nobody don't want to put them. He said, it's not. I said, well, I didn't pray that prayer. You know what I'm saying? Because you don't always get to, and if you put it out there, God, 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 God got a sense of you. He said, okay, you want this one to go down? I'm sending me away. So we prayed to God and said, Lord God, send us a message for a mission that you called us to do. And I'm telling you, man, I can just start calling off names of people that God sent here to help us do what God called us to do. But well, we came just to applaud you guys. We just say we appreciate what you're doing. I might be didn't preach everything everybody wants me to preach. But I just want to tell you right now, you're not fighting by yourself. You handle this end, and we'll come help you when you need help. And we'll handle on that end. We got preachers over there, big old tall. We got preachers that tall. We got preachers over there by that wide. We ain't got muscles anywhere. The devil is in trouble, you understand? I told you the devil is surrounded. He's surrounded. The game is over. He just don't know. Amen. But what we gotta do is say to God, keep the men and women of God lifted up. We need God. Y'all hear what I'm saying? We need, if I could pay everybody that did something just, I'd give them all a million dollars every month. I, I dropped a million on the day. People like, they're like, bring it on. <laughs> I'm just, let me tell you something. I tried to, he, he runs our, our, our media department. And uh, one day I said, uh, I, 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 I was so a seed in the mind. And he, he got with a little smart set. I like to set the seed out to him. He's going to bring my seed back. <laughs> you know, it's almost through of that. You know, Pastor, I'm doing it. So, uh, I don't think I gave you a seed sister, huh? <laughs> you do it for the kingdom, right? I don't want to mess with it. I can't ask it. Okay, that's what he said, amen. But I know he can use the seed every now and then. But I just believe that we can do this. If we pull together, we can together. If we stop talking about each other's churches. <laughs> Everybody probably started in some kind of storefront. Am I right? All of us come through the storefront. One of the most powerful men I know came to Bishop T.D. Jakes. Came straight through the storefront. Talking about the, uh, talking about falling through the floor. I'm going to put the choir over there. But when you stay focused on what God calls you to do, the challenge with the church is to lose our People get saved today, you might not see them again. Why? They didn't get in and get the teaching. And if you don't get the teaching, you can't fight this fight. How are you going to fight the fight with no teaching? Amen. When people teach me, I really don't care for a novice to teach me. I like someone to teach me who really know what they're, you know. to tell the story you're talking about this uh, this photographer the photographer was uh, <laughs> this photographer got on the uh, he got a they told him we want you to go and take pictures there's a forest fire we want you to go and take pictures of it so, so the photographer he, when he ran out there on the airfield the plane was warmed up and ready to take off he jumped on the plane and said go the pilot took off. And he told him that he would tell the pilot, he said, uh, he said, I want you to go to the left. 
Now go to the right. And he said, oh. So he took his camera out and the pilot looked, the, the pilot looked back at him and said, are you disrupting? <laughs> Y'all didn't get it, did you? <laughs> he looked back at us. He, he, he knew what he told me. He looked back and said, are you disrupting? You going to tell us how to land this thing? Do y'all get it? Do you get it? See, now this can't do much. <laughs> oh, he, he thought he was the instructor and he was taking off like he said because he knew how to take off. But he didn't instruct him to tell him how to land. But he said, you're not the instructor. Think about how he felt. God sends us great instructors. They won't only teach you how to take off. Yeah, teach how to land. If you ever flown, if you've ever flown, the two most important times in any flight is what? When you take off and when you land. You might even be in the sky with some turbulence. You understand? It might be hitting. But if you've got some good pockets, some great pockets. They'll tell you why, because they've been through that kind of storm before. That's what bishops do for us. They've been through storms like that. They can look at and say, oh, somebody left the church. Hold on, hold on. John Hagee, and I'm going to stop right here. John Hagee was telling all. Bishop Jakes was calling John Hagee. They said, John, said, said, oh, Bishop Hagee. He said, oh, they don't, they suing me. And he was like, he was like, oh God, Bishop Jacob was like, what, what are we gonna do? And John Hagen said, oh, they do what? He said, they sued me. He said, how many? He said, one. He said, well, wait till you've been sued about 50 and 60 times. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, he was saying, well, look, look, you're just a novice at this. Relax. Relax and let me do this thing. We, we consider the privilege of just to worship Senator Carl from Genesis. All the bishops in the house. Give them another hand. Give them another hand. For them, for them, for these four, hallelujah. 
we don't believe God. Anybody here who don't know Jesus Christ and you want to give your life to him, amen, where you at? You don't know Jesus Christ and you want to give your life to him. Anybody here don't have a church home and you're looking for a church home, pure gospel is waiting you to come and fellowship with him. Now, those young men who are not standing, I'm asking everybody to stand. This is that time, man. When we stand and we turn to the green, am I right? I say, order, 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 order. I'm an old soldier, amen. I know about order, amen. But I'm going to touch and agree with you. And this is a family right here. You want to be a man too? Huh? You sure? You sure? You sure? Yeah, we'll move off to the left a little bit. Mama, y'all move off. Move off to the left. You ready? Come on, man. So fast. You ready? I don't know about so. They tell me about so. Come on, my seat. You got to step with me. You got to step with me. Come on. Come on, my seat. They tell me about so. 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 Give it to her, God. She wants the day for you, God. Come on, my <laughs> like a ballerina, amen. Woo! I wish Cindy was here. Cindy, Cindy got to give a dance. What one of my dancers at the day? One of my dancers. You want to be a dancer? You want to be a dancer? That's all I need. Are you, are you part of this church? Are you part of the dance ministry? Some of my little dances off of my little dances. Smile, I'm not going to dance. I ain't going to talk about it. Get two of my dances. We got all kinds of dances. We got like, see that mom, take care of that dance. What I'm going to do if you want to go to dance, you're going to touch me. You're going to turn. Can you do that, mom? Will you pray for her? And this has nothing. Give her a day for dance. Now, I need you to come out to the dance ministry. Do you know what day they meet? What day y'all meet for dance? What day you? Sunday. Saturday, what time? You sure? Can you come out on Saturday at 3? You sure? Tomorrow is Saturday, you know, right? Are y'all dancing tomorrow at 3? Not this Saturday. Y'all need to dance just so she can come out. This baby want to do it. Let me get that all, baby. Give y'all, come on, huh? This baby says she wanted to hold you, baby. She's 19. And she wants to dance with the Lord. Come on, let's just touch your feet. Come on, get your hands on the bed. Come on, touch your right here, right here. Oh, my God. Let's see you go another way. Come on, let's go another way. And you want to dance too? Go one of my adult dancers. Go one of my adult dancers. I tell her, I'm going to see you. I'm going to see you. I'm going to see you. That Mr. Kelly, yeah, come on, Mr. Kelly. Come on, Kelly, I'm going to touch your feet.
made me want to dance with the Lord. Amen. Now let me tell you, you say you want to dance with the Lord, right? Now you got to make it before He got to it, okay? It's not going to happen just because you walk away. You got to make it before He got to You got to find out when dance with the Lord. You got to show up. And all you got to do is give God your best. And God will give you the Give it to God, give it to God, praise 